Let's be real, I blush every time I think about Spider-Man. It's because he's my favorite fictional character of all time, and I love his films so much. I love Spider-Man films. It really got me blushing thinking about them as well. And I can talk about Spider-Man films all day long, but we don't got the type of time, so instead I'll just show y'all my top 5 favorite Spidey films. Starting off with number 5 is No Way Home. Which looking at it now, this was a very high risk, high reward type of film. It was not supposed to work whatsoever. And through the rough plot holes and rough CGI, it's a fantastic time and a good successful film. Especially for what it does for Tom Holland's Peter Parker and Spider-Man. They really do justice to all the characters on screen. Especially the nostalgia big characters like William Dafoe. That's where they realize that William Dafoe's face looks more like a goblin than the mask that you wore in 2003. Don't know if he's supposed to take that as a compliment or not, but hey. You do you, boo. Same thing for Alfred Molina, Jamie Foxx, Tobey Maguire, and Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield especially gets a finale that he deserved, and honestly, he snapped hard in this film. Honestly, he snapped harder than Gwen did in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Honestly, if this is the last time that we see these guys in these roles, I'm satisfied. I'm just as satisfied as the Bucks winning the championship in 2021. Moving on to number four is Spider-Man Homecoming, which has such a simple grounded story with a funny high school atmosphere while having a great villain and a great Spidey. People tend to give this film some shit, but honestly, I still think it's a very solid Spidey film. It really reminds me of Jimmy Butler, because as a Hooper, he isn't the flashiest guy out there, but he gets the job done fantastically. But most importantly, Jimmy Butler is comedy gold during media day. Moving on to number three is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, which is still such a beautiful, visually spectacular, and charming film, all oh, being brutal at times. It honestly reminds me of uh, Ana de Armas in Blade Runner 2099, because she's drop-dead gorgeous. Oh my gosh, she's so gorgeous. A top-tier baddie for sure, but while being super-duper charming. But the brutality of it is that she's just a dream, and I actually can't have her whatsoever. Yet she still lives rent-free in my head every day, and shit still hurts, man. Now that we have entered the top two Spidey films, I like to say that if you like or hate this type of content, still please like, comment, share, and subscribe. It helped me a lot to reach my goal of 350 plus subscribers for the next month. It honestly make me giddy, not like Josh giddy. If you all join me on this YouTube journey. Anyways, moving on to my number two Spidey film, it's Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, and even more visually spectacular and mature film than Into the Spider-Verse while keeping the same exact charm and it's just so awesome looks beautiful it honestly reminds me of that baddie where you don't know how she can get even harder but she still does like how Sydney Sweeney how is it even possible she's so pretty and she has a great personality man that's insane man anyways finally to my number one most dearly beloved Spider-Man film, it gotta be Spider-Man 2. Everything in Spider-Man 2 hits for me on a different level. It honestly awakened something in me. It just had great visuals, great story, great characters, great quotes, and most importantly, it's my favorite Peter Parker story yet. And it's still my favorite film ever, and I'll stand on it. It reminds me of my favorite NBA player, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Like, how can you hate Giannis, man? That gotta be a hate crime, bro. And that's it for my top five Spidey films. And let's be real, you won't agree with this ranking whatsoever, but that's okay, seriously. If you're all on the same list, these videos would be so boring. But I swear, if I see a list where Spider-Man Far From Home is top 5, I will riot.